Hey everyone, today is the long-awaited day. We are bringing my new horse, or should I say horses, home. If you haven't already, make sure to watch my Looking for My Next Adventure video for context, but recently I tried out four horses to find my next new eventing horse that I'm going to be competing on. Now, I posted a poll in my community tab, and out of the four horses I tried, I got the one with the highest percentage of votes. After careful consideration, and with your help, I was able to decide on Buggy because he just checked all the marks for me. But there's a twist. Since I bought Buggy instead of Picasso, it left more room for me in my budget, and I felt comfortable buying a horse that I definitely wasn't thinking of getting, and that horse is Alfie. Now, although Alfie is definitely not eventing material, he is very trustworthy and relaxed, and I got to thinking of how wonderful he would be for some of my advanced beginners in my lesson program here at the Silver Glade Equestrian Center. Once I left Marley's farm, I felt bad about just leaving him there as it obviously didn't look like he was in the best situation, and I didn't really want him to fall into the wrong hands, so he won't be my personal horse. I might even just have him as a project horse and sell him in the future, or who knows, I might even lease him out in the future once he's ready. Um, I'll get into more detail in a bit, but for now I need to drive over to Moreland and Marley's farm to pick each of the boys up. Let's go! Our first stop will be Alfie. When I got there, on time, despite telling the owners I'd be there, they were nowhere in sight, so I sent them a text and they told me that they weren't home. Uh, it was a little frustrating, but you gotta roll with the punches. So I asked them if they wanted me to come another time or if I could just pick him up now. And they said I could just pick him up now and they could situate the payments out later. So it was a weird situation, but this is kind of why I wanted to adopt him and give him a better home, hopefully. I found him in the arena and I gave him some cuddles before we had to head to the trailer off to his new home. When I unloaded him, he definitely did perk up a bit to kind of gather his surroundings in. It was really nice to see that because he had been looking a bit lethargic beforehand and he was probably wondering where in the world he was. So once we got him settled into his stall, I would have liked to hang out with him more, but we had to go get the next new arrival, Buggy. When we arrived at Moreland, I was a bit surprised to see that he had been tacked up, and Thomas, his former owner, told me that since I hadn't tried him show jumping, there was a course they had set up that I could try him on if I wanted to, and of course I did. I was thrilled to give him a go out on their course. So I did the trot circle before we headed out on the course, and we came up to our first jump really nicely. Um, and he over jumped it so much, kind of sprung me out of my seat a little bit. He definitely rushed this jump a bit and I kind of had to shorten his strides up because he would have come at it all wrong. Um, and then we came up on this jump. He, he did this one really nicely. Um, it was pretty smooth, still way over jumped it especially it's just a little a little fence he doesn't need to fly over it and then we came over this jump and it was a bit weird we landed a bit strangely but overall he was super good so i cooled him down untacked him and we went in the trailer i was so impressed to see that he loaded very confidently it was just like that little extra cherry on top then we started off on the journey back which is about 30 minutes to the sec we do have a trailer cam, and looking back at this footage, he stood like an absolute angel the entire time. He didn't make a fuss of the whole process once, and didn't kick anything. He was just really good. Once I got him out of the trailer, his ears immediately perked up, and he was again very alert and excitable. He was looking around everywhere and just taking his new surroundings all in. When I was walking him to the stable through the barn, he let out this great big whinny to all the other horses. He was like, there's a new horse in town. They are going to be away from the others just until the vet shows up, which should be in an hour or so. While I wait until she gets here, I'm just going to sit and hang out with these guys, maybe read a book, do some barn chores to keep me busy. 
But yeah, they're all settled in with their nice comfy new bed. Alfie already seems content and relaxed. Buggy, on the other hand, I think just wants to explore, but he's gonna have to wait. I'm sure he'll settle soon since he's probably exhausted from all these new experiences. I definitely don't think I made the wrong decision with these two, especially Buggy. He is just such a sweetheart. Oh, and before I forget, here's a bit of a photo shoot I had with him and Alfie in his stall. A little while later, the vet arrived and she gave both the horses a general, basic exam, checking their temperature, teeth, eyes, looking for any swelling or tenderness. Once she finished, she gave Buggy a clean bill of health. However, with Alfie, it was a different story. So, Alfie's right front hawk is inflamed. Now, this could be why he has been so fatigued fatigued and when I was riding him his old owners might have given him something to take away the pain so it didn't look like anything was wrong. Inflammation happens more and more often with age so my next question was how old Alfie was really and when I asked the vet she told me that by the looks of it from what she could tell he might be a bit older than what the ad originally said although there's no way of knowing for sure. The vet recommended that the inflammation can be healed with around two weeks or more of rest and cold therapy might help it heal faster. And looking back on it, I probably should have taken the vet out before I had actually purchased him. But you live and learn, right? While I wanted to give Alfie some time on stall rest so he can heal up, I decided that it would be a good time to introduce Buggy to Autumn and her pasture mate that goes out with her all the time. So Autumn was very intrigued. She came right over because it's a new horse and it was really interesting to her. So she had it on over and it was really cute. They just, you know, they just hung out with each other and they were like prancing along the fence kind of trying to play with each other I think but they just couldn't quite get to each other and then her pasture mate came over to see what the heck was going on with this new horse. They all just seemed very intrigued with each other and no one was pinning their ears it was just a very laid-back first meeting. I am so happy to see that Buggy and Autumn got along well and after a couple of weeks and once Buggy settles in I'll have them interact in the same paddocks for now. You know, it has been a long day for him, and he's had a lot of new experiences shoved at him. I would hate for him to be overwhelmed because there is just too many new things going on, and obviously, I want him to have a positive first first look at his new home. He might be a little high-strung with Autumn if I put them together because he could be stressed, and there's a new horse, and it's exciting. So overall, it just makes the most sense to me as I want him to be as comfortable as possible in his new home. I let Autumn and Buggy just play around for a little bit and I decided to check on Alfie and give him a little walk around to check out his new home because with everything going on with him, he hasn't even had time to take a little walk around. And to wrap up the evening, when it started getting dark, I brought in Buggy and I also brought in Autumn to tuck them into bed. And I fed hay and grain and I had to do that with all the horses at the barn since I am a barn co-manager. Hopefully I'll be getting the manager position soon. Um, I have to talk to Julie about that, but... You know, we'll see. It's kind of an exciting adventure. So I tucked all the horses in, and that's it. Now, I didn't tell you much of why I chose Buggy over the other horses, so I'll explain that now. First off, I came to the realization that I wasn't ready for Blitz at all. She was just too much of a project for me. Overall, she would be an amazing eventing prospect, but she just had so little knowledge of not even eventing, but basic cues as well, and she would needed to work on the very first steps of her riding career. And as of now, I just don't have time for an entirely new project horse. That left me with Picasso and Buggy. Now, although I would have absolutely loved to have Picasso as my horse, at the end of the day, he was just way out of my budget 
It was a little bittersweet because I know he would have done so well when competing. This is when I made the decision that if I got Buggy instead, I could get Alfie as well to help him live out the rest of his years as a schoolmaster and later on retire. And after all that, it helped me come to the conclusion of how perfect Buggy was. He has a beautiful confirmation that would be perfect for eventing. His previous owners have already gotten started with show jumping and a bit of cross country, and we can work on dressage together. He has a lovely floaty gait for that. He has a lovely demeanor, and Autumn is going to really enjoy having a new pal that she can be friendly with. I also think Flamey is going to enjoy a more low-key horse like Alfie. I am so excited to see where this adventure goes with Buggy. He's obviously still got a lot to learn, but he does know what he's doing. He just needs some direction. I am very happy with him, though. He was just what I was looking for. He's not in his prime yet, but with work, I can definitely push him there. I cannot wait to start working with this boy. He's got such a sweet disposition and I am already in love with him. That's all the good things I have to say about him, and that's going to wrap up today's video. I hope you all enjoyed this video as much as I did making it. Let me know, do you guys think I made the right decision with the both of them? As always, please like and subscribe, and I will catch you all in the next video. Bye! With you, I can be sad with you. Just take my hand and fly up through the dreams Where the skies are so clear With you, I will